It's not quite like winning the lottery, but almost. First, Stephen McGee and Corey Coffey bought their house for next to nothing on 14th Street, across the street from the Michigan Central Station, where Ford Motor Co. is establishing a major presence in Corktown. Now they're creating buzz with a photo by free press photographer Roman Blankert. He and Coffee on Thursday evening jumped into Coffee's 1974 F250 in their front yard and shared a kiss with the train station in the background. More on Freep.com's Latin quotes projected on Detroit train station, what they mean and Detroit train station is city's biggest comeback moment yet Blankert was there to take pictures of a quote that Ford was having projected on the side of the depot. Ford is projecting inspirational quotes on the building leading up to its public event Tuesday telling more about its plans for the depot. The first quote was from fabled Detroit priest Gabriel Richard, who after a fire that destroyed much of Detroit in 1805 wrote, Speramus Meliora, and Resurgit Senoribus, Latin phrases that translate as we hope for better things, and it will rise from the ashes. The F-250, named Avocado, was built in 1969. Coffee's grandfather drove it off a lot in California in 1970, McGee posted on Instagram. The couple, both 36, moved to 14th Street last Thanksgiving, we live in the last remaining house that faces the station. It was built in 1881. We bought it in 2013, said McGee, a film director who specializes in projects that highlight the character of Detroit, this was a bustling neighborhood. In 2009, the house was sold with another house next to it. Dot dot dot. They were two burnt down houses next to each other and we had the opportunity to put love into them and bring them into their next existence. It was almost like a stewarding, McGee said. The McGee Coffee House Before Renovation, photo, Stephen McGee, nobody in my group of friends had the finances to rehab the houses and, combined with zero lending during the time, these houses became many people's center of their Detroit experience. Detroit was at an all-time low, he said. It's crazy only a couple years ago that people didn't think Detroit was going to take off, it took the couple, each moved from California, two years to find a contractor who wasn't either going to Burning Man or quoting $400,000 to do the project. A Molotov cocktail burned down the house next door. Mickey, a former free press photographer, created the Detroit video submitted to Amazon for consideration during the international competition for a second headquarters. He has worked with rapper Big Sean on other projects. The renovated McGee Coffee House, photo, Stephen McGee, Coffee is on Team USA, freestyle BMX and prepping for the 2020 Olympics. This house is alive because the love, sweat and dedication of thousands of people who poured into two homes that should not have survived, McGee said. Even though we own this house, we thankfully understand that we are part of the larger journey. It's just amazing, with this recent announcement of Ford. This just could not have been planned, people who never lost faith in Motown are watching the transformation in awe, nobody cared forever and now everybody cares, McGee said. Contact Phoebe Wall Howard, 313-222-6512 or forward at freepress.com. Follow her on Twitter at Phoebe said dread or share this story, https colon slash slash on.freep.com slash 2 tdvrip.